Welcome back to the channel, guys. It is me, AD Stone Four Four, and today it's time for an MLS recap. So I watched all the highlights. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and do some competitive MLS. Obviously, we're also competitive Concacaf Champions Cup. So we're going to go in and ask you if you find out our finalists and we're going to that. So enjoy the video, guys. Enjoy the video. So let's start with the first game we got here: Philadelphia two, uh, Seattle three. This was a pretty bad game for Philadelphia, man. Seattle, that was a game in hand. Um, for Philadelphia and Seattle. So obviously, the game was delayed. And Seattle, man, huge, huge win for them, man. Absolute physical win on the road for Philadelphia. Sorry, Seattle and Ray Dewey, man. Bad, bad ball. Or bad third. I think it was the first goal. It was a very good goal. Ray Dewey, the first goal was fantastic. And yeah, Philadelphia Union did try to do a comeback, but it wasn't quite enough. And Philadelphia Union just cut short. So, huge win for Seattle, man. And Philadelphia are really starting to fall apart. So, we'll, we'll get into that um, a bit later course um next up is atlanta at atlanta united one minnesota united two men huge win for minnesota man huge win for minnesota i thought they were the better team on the day and even though atlanta had the better stats and everything you can see right here uh minnesota were just more clinical they were the more clinical especially in the counter attacks and that's why i say with atlanta man like defensively i'm not a huge fan of them Coriaga, el corso uh, they did get a late goal back themselves but it wasn't to be and yeah minnesota man a crucial three points on the road is paramount then we got charlotte to portland nil finally charlotte gets a win we finally win a game and we finally hold on to a game that's something that charlotte have been unable to do the last couple of years and we finally get it and that's the score that great goal there 54 win and then a terrible mistake there from portland and uh copa t capitalizing the copa t man i still don't rate him i still think he's a bum uh but he, he you know maybe this can do, do, do him a good compliment because he needs compliments, you know. And as a striker, when you get that first goal, it really elevates your game. You 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 get you play you're in such more confidence. You know, strikers need confidence like that. So hopefully Copa T can continue scoring. And yeah, man. So huge, huge win for Charlotte, man. Huge win for Charlotte. Next up is DC United two, Philadelphia Union two. This was a crazy game, guys. Back and forth game. Obviously DC United were two 0 up and figured some okay. Philadelphia, uh, uh, Philadelphia are uh, is gonna lose this game. Charlotte gets a two assist. Their Jermaine and Morel score the two goals, but then out of nowhere, uh, Philadelphia got one back before halftime. Badia, Wagner, and then they get a second goal in second half. So I think for uh, Philadelphia, man, they're starting to you know um, this is a good result for them from a two 0 deficit at away. They turned it around, but yeah, Philadelphia, man, I just I just don't like their defense. Their defense looks very sketchy, but they obviously can't get back a goalkeeper. Um, is Andre Blake is currently injured, and maybe that's why they've been conceding a lot more goals recently. Um, so yeah, man, huge, huge result there for Philadelphia on the road. Next up, it is Inter Miami six, New York Red Bulls two. Guys, Messi is just unbelievable. Guys, Messi look, uh, Messi played five assists, man, five assists for Lionel Messi. Absolutely incredible. Luis Suarez had a hat trick as well, got an assist, and yeah, New York Red Bulls had a good start. But then they just fell apart defensively. Van Isser got the goal there. They did get a goal back right at the end, though. Emerald Ford, so coming off uh, getting the penalty there. But that just didn't really matter. And, yeah, they were just so clinical, man. Absolutely clinical. Lionel Messi is the form of his life. And you can see how good this team is. Like, with Messi and their team, this team is unstoppable. And, you know, he is in an incredible, rich vein of form. So, shout out to him, man. Then, obviously, the next couple got here is Orlando City nil. Cincinnati won. Uh, Luciano Acosta got the goal there. And that's pretty much all that happened, you know. Uh, obviously, Orlando did go down to 10 men. They also got went themselves down to 10 men. It was a pretty underwhelming game. Not a whole lot to discuss, you know, uh, stats-wise. It was a pretty even game. But I just think the red card for Orlando just threw everything off, you know. Cincinnati, they were uh, more dominant. And, um, yeah, but I honestly think it was kind of a game of two halves where Orlando were poor in this first half, and then they showed it the second half because they just didn't get the goals. And Cincinnati, likewise, they were great in the first half, and the second half they showed it the goals. Shout out to um, Cincinnati for getting the win there. Next up is San Jose Earthquakes 3, LAFC 1. San Jose Earthquakes, man. Huge win for them. Rodriguez, Pellegrino. Pellegrino, I think that's his first goal in MLS, man. He's been really playing. Got a big banana in his Zaya. Uh, LAFC did get a goal back right there. Just a penalty, man, but it wasn't to be. And, yeah, San Jose were just playing wonderfully. Um, and that even though LAFC was the better team, they were the more dominant team. They had more chances. Ultimately, um, Hugo Lloris didn't have a good game. He was terrible. And, um, yeah, San Jose Earthquakes just got the win. And they were able to withstand the amount of pressure that LAFC had in the second half. Uh, next up is Toronto 3, Dallas 1, man. Toronto, man, getting a, a big win here. Bernadeschi, man, coming up clutch. Uh, I feel like Bernadeschi has been one of the more underwhelming players.
the state of Toronto. I think we're starting to kind of get a groove. Longstaff obviously scored a goal. Great goal from Matthew Longstaff. Uh, but Bernadeschi, man, they should have got that hat trick. They should have got that hat trick. He missed the penalty. Uh, but they didn't. They just scored a great down. And as for uh, MC Dallas, man, they did get a goal back right at the end, but it wasn't to be. And, yeah, so like I said, for Toronto, man, I think they're starting to pick things up. I think they're starting to change the season around. Next up is Chicago Fire. Nil, New England Revolution won, man. New England Revolution, man, getting a 2 to win on the road against Chicago Fire. Great goal there from Shane Hay. Shane Clay. And, yeah, I just thought for me, man, uh, it's Chicago, man. Uh, Chicago is just not good, man. They, they, they're they really not that good of a team. They have 15 shots to on target, man. They keep scoring two goals, man. And that's causing them, you know, to get another one. So, anyway, next up is Houston Dynamo. St. Louis City, not much to discuss about um, this one here. Uh, yeah, Houston Dynamo were the better team. They probably should have won this game. 22 shots to 7 on target. They just were not able to score in St. Louis. And they also had a lot of opportunities to stop, but weren't as... Uh, clinical as Houston Dynamo, and I think a draw is probably a fair to say uh, at this moment in stage one. But yeah, but yeah, Houston Dynamo should be a bit of a team here. They just weren't that. Nashville, man, finally a big win for Nashville. And Storage, man, what a game Storage had. And Zimmerman, man, he actually scored the goal and then had an own goal there. But yeah, Storage was fantastic in this game. What a striker. Mukhtar was fantastic as well. And Nashville actually looked really good in this game. Because one of my big issues with Nashville last team was a, a team is that a team is against two defenders. You know, but I think on this game in particular, they were very good on the counterattack. They were creating chance after chance, and Montreal was just just terrible defensively. And yeah, uh, so shout out to uh, Nashville for Storage, man, getting that hat trick as well. Uh, next up is Real Salt Lake uh, one, Florida, Kansas City nil. Real Salt Lake man getting the win to Arango in the 81st minute, and yeah, huge huge win for them. Um, for the Real Salt Lake man, so yeah, big big shout out to them as well. But anyway. Uh, next one is Vancouver Whitecaps, nil, Austin FC, nil. Not really a whole lot to discuss. I'll just show you guys real quick the stats here since you guys want to know. Not a whole lot to discuss about this game. Um, obviously, as you can see right here, guys. Um, yeah, it was it was pretty much one-sided for Vancouver. Vancouver should have won this game. Obviously, we were defending for their lives. They held on to a point, which is a crucial point for them on the road. Moving on, next is New York City FC, nil, Colorado Rapids, two. This is a huge win for Colorado Rapids. Huge, huge win for Colorado Rapids because this team has been pretty underwhelming the last couple of uh, in, the, in the last couple of games, and now they pick up a huge win away in New York. And yeah, New York City FC, man, they were fantastic in this game. What a goal that was from Bassett, 86 minute, man, fantastic goal there from Barr. It was like two bangers, man, two bangers. So huge win for Colorado Rapids and for New York City FC, man. They Seattle Sounders nil, LA Galaxy nil. So we'll quickly touch upon this game. There's not a whole lot to say about this game. It was a pretty underwhelming game. Um, I would probably say that Seattle probably should have won this game because they had 19 shots for on target. Uh, Alec Galaxy had 12 shots for on target, but neither team really did any meaningful opportunities at the end. And, yeah, the, I think a draw is probably fair to say. But let's go look at the table real quick, guys, on the Eastern Conference, the Western Conference. Uh, then we'll make some scores here. Uh, let's look at the table real quick. So, as you can see right here, guys, in the Eastern Division, Inter Miami. I think Inter Miami is starting to slowly ascend themselves into the favorites. Uh, Cincinnati, second place, pretty good for them. Toronto's been amazing in the past few years. Red Bulls, Columbus, Charlotte was starting to pick things up. New York City FC, Philadelphia, DC United, Atlanta United, Montreal, and Nashville. Sorry about that. I was just trying to find my notes. So my big takeaway is that Inter Miami are very good. Um, Orlando City have been terrible. They have been very disappointing. And New England Revolution. And maybe Chicago, although to be fair, they haven't made the playoffs yet, guys. So maybe not as surprising. But yeah. Inter Miami, man, I think they're the team to beat. They're the team to beat. They're just an amazing squad, man. Can anyone stop Messi? Can anyone stop Messi with Messi playing on the pitch? Moving on to the Western Division, guys. Western Division, we got here. We all saw like a dominating. They're scoring 21 points. Minnesota United is impressive. It's actually pretty crazy. I think it's like the LA Galaxy 19. Vancouver Whitecaps um, 18. Carl Rapids 18. Austin FC 8 and 16. Austin FC is definitely uh, surprising to me. I think that's a good thing to be good for. LAFC, eh, it's been okay. Not the best. Houston Dynamo, yeah, I kind of expected better. St. Louis City, man. Eh, Florida, Kansas, Seattle Sounders, Portland Timbers. Dallas, man. Dallas has been very disappointing. I've been very disappointed for Dallas in some of their games. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on. Let's shift gears real quick to the CONCACAF Champions Cup, guys. So we have our semifinalists. So we have our finals confirmed, guys. Uh, Pachuca did beat Colum America 2-1. So shout out to Pachuca, man, for getting the win there and club america was just simply poor on the day simply poor pachuca scored two goals and Macias 
Darissa. Uh, then Henry Martin did get a goal back, but ultimately, even though they had more possession, uh, Tuca had so many chances to finish this tie off, and they didn't. So Club America Max, they're out of the CONCACAF Champions Cup, and that's the most successful Mexican team of all time. And shout out to Columbus Crew. I am so happy that Columbus Crew did, because when I saw this game, I was like, oh, God. Or early goal for Monterey, and at that time it was two two, and I just I remember away goes count. So at the time Monterey were actually advancing, but the Columbus they composed, created a chance, created a chance, and then they got a goal out of nowhere. Terrible mistake there from the goalkeeper. Aiden Moore capitalizing before halftime. Hugo Rossi uh, scored the forty nine minute great great assist there. I think it was from uh, Nathan um, Nathan. Fantastic fantastic assist there. Um, uh, from him, and then obviously, I think it got two assists, and then obviously, um, Monterey has the chance, has the chance, and then Jacob Ross Rule comes off the bench and scores the 89th minute to finish the tie off 3 1. Uh, Monterey, uh, Columbus did have a penalty themselves right at the end, uh, but they got saved, but it didn't really matter. And Columbus says what they did at the title because they achieved history because I believe this is the first time an, an MLS club has won away in Mexico in the knockout stage. Of a Concacaf Champions Cup, my commentator actually said this did Monterey did lose at home in the group stage, so I think it was LAFC, I think, if I remember correctly, and Columbus. Man, they could they are representing MLS champions. This is the team that I'm so happy and Columbus, man, and this is fantastic. So now they're playing against Pachuca in the final, and that's set to take place at June first at 9:15 p.m. So I'll try my best to do a live reaction for that game, guys. So straight after the game, I'll do my live reaction for it. So if you guys are if, if you guys want to see that, please subscribe. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed, guys. Remember, guys, to like and subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.